The Skinless Steer by Eric Defoe. Can you see it? I can't see it. Can you see it? I can't see it. See it? It's a cow. It's a cow, it's a cow on the plains. All red, not dead. Leaking blood full of pain. Ain't got no skin. She's naked as sin. Angry as a fucker. Fucking angry as my kin. Escape from the slaughterhouse. Roaming in the waste. Searching for the fuckers that fucked her in the first place. Can you see it? Can you see it? I can see it. Better watch out for the skinless deer. Body as bare as the bottom of your rear. Better watch out for the skinless deer. Body as bare as the bottom of your rear. Now your turn. <laughs> yeah. Insert the handle into the web of your palm. <laughs> and remember, you want to grip it so hard that your hand begins to fucking shake. <laughs> and then you take your other hand. You wrap it around that shaking hand like a daddy comforting his baby. <laughs> Align the front side with the rear side. Yeah. Control the breathing. And now, clench it like it's an ass crack. <laughs> there we go, Brenna. That's my girl. Thanks, Dad. Now that's yours now, Brenna. A Wesson M1911 pistol. Happy birthday. <laughs> Does this mean you didn't rent the bounce house? You got to be careful around these areas. Know how to protect yourself. One time, I saw the ghost of a man who had replaced his head with a chainsaw. Uh. Another time, <laughs> far out in the desert when your uncle and I got wasted, we saw a cow with no skin. Dad. Apparently, it had managed to escape from the slaughterhouse on Route 60 just before they shot a nail through its brain. <sighs> but it was out there, wandering. Wailing like of all manner of hell, searching for its skin. And that's why I always carry my pistol. My pistol and a picture of you. <laughs> you didn't rent the bounce house, did you? Yeah, about that. Turns out the bounce house guy is a real tool, and he was like, it's five for the castle, and I said... You said it's three for the castle, and he said, no, it's five, and then I said, fuck the castle, and then, yeah, there's no bounce house. It's okay. This is a good enough present. One day, I'm going to buy you a bounce house. I'm going to buy you two bounce houses. <laughs> now, fuck bounce houses. <laughs> Daddy. I'm going to buy you a real house shaped like a fucking castle. And we don't need our bodies to bounce because our hearts are gonna. <laughs> and before you know it, 10 years are gonna pass. And you're gonna be sitting in that castle, the queen of the fucking West. <laughs> You'll see, Brenna, 10 years, they're gonna pass as fast as a bullet. Now, Brenna, honey, there's some things you need to know about working in the slaughterhouse business. Yes, sir, Mr. Shutters. One, you're gonna get the cow blood on ya. Some people, they try and pussyfoot around it, but it's best you accept it now. It's gonna get in your hair. It's gonna get in your socks. It's gonna soak through into your underwear and you'll be sitting in that shit all day long. Here's the name of a shampoo I like to recommend. It won't make you not smell like a cow blood, but it makes the cow blood smell a little fruitier, which the women seem to like. <coughs> Two, you're gonna need some earplugs. Now we got some earplugs, but they all been used before, so they tend to give people ear infections if that's a problem for you. Oh, Three, <laughs> there's a sign in the washroom says you gotta wash your hands. What? But that's really just a suggestion. Any questions? Uh, I don't, H have I got this job? Brenna, honey. Anyone's got this job, long as they got two hands and their eyes ain't too far apart. 
Congratulations, you're hired. Well, thank you. Yeah, well, I heard about your pop. Damn shame, if you ask me. I mean, he was sort of an uneducated shithead. No offense, but still, a damn shame. Right. Really, though, what in the fuck was he thinking? Holding up the Dairy Queen? People love that Dairy Queen. <laughs> it's got the waffle cones. I mean, hold up the Cracker Barrel, hold up the Sonic Fine, but the Dairy Queen? That shit's a pillar of the community. So, honestly, maybe it's better that it happened the way it did. Better to die in a hailstorm of bullets and ice cream than have to live with that kind of reputation. <laughs> When's the funeral? I haven't decided yet. I don't want to go, mind you. Just sort of a pleasantry. <laughs> so, you can work today, I assume. Today, as Now? As you can work now? I, um, yeah, I guess so. You a size eight? You look like a size eight. I'm going to write you down for size eight. You give this to Janice. She'll set you right up. Oh, shit, almost forgot. A lot of people, they burn, on a, burn out on this job real fast. They say that being in this kind of environment, seeing that much blood and bone, that it does things to your mind. Now, I'm no doctor, but I do get concerned about the state of my employees' he uh, mental and physical health. Hold out your palm. What is this? That's a pill. It says 666 on it. Nah, nah, that says 999. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> it says 666. Huh. Never really looked at it that way. <laughs> what? I'd like to know what it is. All you gotta know is it makes it easier. I mean, hell, honey, I'm on this thing as we speak. <laughs> Makes me feel like I swallowed a little slice of paradise. Trust me, you're gonna want it. All right. Cheers. Good girl. <laughs> now you have a nice day at work. Uh, Mr. Shutters? Yeah, honey. Just, um... If you ever call my daddy a shithead again, I will shoot you in the face and bury your corpse in the Dairy Queen parking lot. Well, you just make sure that my coffin's made out of waffle cone, honey. <laughs> you make sure of that. I get the hell out of my office. Gotta go to work, gotta work all day. Gotta go to work, this is what the workers say. They say, blood bone, gallstone, blood bone, gallstone. Baby in your belly getting bigger till it's grown. Gotta go to work, gotta work all day. Gotta go to work, this is what the workers say. They say, kneecap, skin flap, kneecap, skin flap. Belly full of bile makes you gotta take a crap. Gotta go to work, gotta work all day. Gotta go to work, this is what the workers say. They say, teeth brain, cum stain, teeth brain, cum stain. Vomit in the shower, flush the vomit down the drain. So yeah, this is what happened next. After I took the pill that read 666, I went and got a size eight bodysuit from Janice. And uh, I guess then the devil drug began to kick in because the next thing I remember, I was in my car driving back from my first day of work. And you know, my arms were sore and my hair was wet with cow blood and I kept finding strange pieces of flesh stuck under my fingernails. And I tried to remember what the fuck I'd done all day, but I didn't have a damn clue. And I dug in my pocket and found a baggie of a hundred or so pills all marked 666 and a note from Mr. Shutters that said, good work, partner, and a photo of his cock. <laughs> and for some reason, I took the long route back home, the route that goes past the Dairy Queen. And I parked in the Dairy Queen parking lot. And I opened my glove compartment. 
and I saw my Wesson M1911 pistol in there. And I took it out and stuck it in my pants. And I walked into the Dairy Queen. And I felt the pistol smooth against the smooth of my back. And I ordered an Oreo Blizzard and I left. And then I drove out for <laughs> what must have been an hour at least, far into the desert. And I sat on the hood of the car and looked up at the night sky and crumbled up three of the 666 pills into the Oreo blizzard, which was mostly melted by now. And I began to eat. And then I saw it. And at first, I didn't know what the fuck it was, because it was dark, and, you know, I thought it might have been, I don't know, a bison, or a coyote, or a lynx, and then it started to run at me, wailing with this noise that was like, that was like... So I took out my Wesson M1911 and shot it in the head. When I examined the corpse, well, well, it was a cow, but it, it looked like all its skin had been removed. No eyelids even, just muscle and sinews, blood leaking out everywhere. And I felt like I should want to throw up, but for some reason I didn't. I just looked at that weird fucking thing, and I thought, shit. Shit, what a poor beast. And I thought about how much the world would hurt if you didn't have any skin on, you know? If you were just a bundle of fucking nerves unprotected from the elements how the wind would feel like a fucking knife, how the dust would feel like a gunshot. And I sat down on the corpse of that sad, since skinless creature, and I thought about what I was gonna say at my daddy's funeral. And I thought about what he would have said at my funeral. And I think he would have said something beautiful. No, I really do think that. And I sat there for <laughs> who knows how long, you know. And I listened to the sounds of the West. <laughs>